what is going on guys it is your boy so here bring us yet another photoshop tour today we have a cool little yet again another esports banner design tour for you guys you guys really literally honestly killed the like completely killed it i mean actually killed the actual design that i did last time you guys posted it so freaking much it was like everywhere on my twitter like everywhere just everyone tagged me i appreciate it so freaking much and you guys really requested another one so why the hell not last time i used optic karma this time i'm gonna be using optic uh scumpy so freaking like this one by the way this actual concept that i'm using right here for today's tutorial is i believe in my opinion a lot more sophisticated looking a lot more cleaner and just overall just drop dead gorgeous and sexy and clean so i know for 100 percent fact you guys are gonna like this one as well so uh let's pretty much get right into it of course the only thing you're going to really be needing is of course your pen tooled out player in my case it's going to be scumpy and also there's possibly this smoke stock here that i'm going to be supplying for you guys in the description down below also the pictures that i got are not from google they're from a person uh, i believe it's like uh, a tot or a lot or something like that the uh the link will be in the description down below who I actually got my pictures from. The same exact person that I did from the last time in my other Optic uh, Karma one. So this one right here. I'm talking about this one right here. And it's going to be this guy right here. Right? So yeah, you'll find it all in the description down below. And uh, pretty much, that's pretty much it. So of course, two likes on the video equals a secret now below. So don't forget to leave a like. Like, like right now. You'll be able to get the PSD of this actual video here today. And uh, also, thank you guys so much for last night's video support. I did an actual video on like branding help and stuff like that. So it was portfolios for my first video. And you guys literally killed it. You guys like loved it. And I'm happy because that means I can post more stuff around like really helping you guys out more than just creative designing. So if you guys want to check that out, it's all, it was just posted yesterday. So I'll probably put it in the description down below. Otherwise, uh, just go find it and you'll enjoy it. I guarantee you. So, okay. Okay. Um, so yeah. For the actual background code that I'm using for today is going to be actually hex code 101112. That is the hex code that I'm using for the background. And okay, let's get into this. So, okay. So, for, we're going to make a new layer, right? And we're going to go ahead and go to our foreground color and go to black, pure black. So, you're going to have this nice little grayish tone background and we're going to be using a black brush. I know it looks really weird or it sounds really weird, but we're going to go for a little distortion, right? So, what I'm going to do is right away on this new layer, I'm going to lower my opacity down to 40%. On this 40% layer, I'm going to click a couple times this nice black soft brush, by the way. And I'm going to click like maybe a few times like so. Like, you know, I click on the top left, top right, in the middle a little bit. Maybe I'll click down here with a smaller brush, right? And we're just kind of distorted a little bit. So as you can see, it might not look you did anything like at all. But what you kind of did was like, you know, play around with a little bit of depth in like the slightest way, right? So that's what we're going to go like we're going for. And we're going to do now is actually take this smoke stock. I'm going to make a duplicate of it because I know I'm going to use it before or again in a little bit. Take this smoke stock, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretty much hold Alt on my keyboard and then move my mouse, right? So this is a, a nice little shortcut way of duplicating because you can also press Control J. Or what you can do is, you know, click on the actual uh, layer itself, drag it into here. But all that takes way too much time. Alt dragging is the fastest way, for my in my opinion, to do this to actually duplicate your actual layer. And right here, that's perfect. And pretty much once you have your entire actual header design filled with duplicates, it's pretty much going to be a texture now, in my opinion, right? So what you can do now is shift click on the everything. So click on the first actual stock that you use for the smoke. Click on the last one while holding shift. It will select everything in between. And then all you can do is press control E to merge it all together or right click merge layers, which is right here. And then you can just go ahead and go to your opacity here and go to around 7% opacity for the smoke. Now, this might change a little bit. It depends. Right now, 7% is pretty much, you know, A-OK. -okay. So, after this, you're going to go to, uh, oops, after this, right above everything, right there. Uh, actually, not above everything, below the scump uh, actual player. And I'm going to go to exposure. So, on the offset, I'm going to go to 0 .0030 for the offset and then for the gamma correction 0.85 and then if you guys know what this does for me the reason why i use it is because if i uncheck this really quickly you will be able to see like you can see the distortion right you can see like a nice little uh, i guess you know gray to like black ratio and you can see that there's a little bit of depth going on back there however what i like to do is kind of like put a sheet over everything and that's what this kind of does so if you look right here it's like really heavy and like a little bit of depth i'm going to use a depth in the actual example like the word i'm using is depth however it's not like completely depth but you can see what i'm trying to say here but uh, if I click this right, it kind of puts a sheet over everything. It looks pretty cool, pretty clean, and crisp. So after that, you're pretty much ready to throw in some light here. So on this new layer I'm going to be creating, I'm going to be using this blue. And for the foreground color, so this, uh, not said blue, it's green, Jesus, okay. Uh, 3, 2, DB, 36 is the actual hex code for this green. I'm going to take my soft brush right below my scumpy, uh, right below my player, right below my scumpy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just click one nice time. 
and I'm gonna kind of erase a little bit kind of give it a nice little controlled light I'm gonna click another new layer I'm gonna click one more time with this this little I almost said blue again this green and we're gonna go ahead and just kind of uh, yeah there we go so I'm actually not gonna change anything with the light actually I'm gonna keep it on normal keep it on 100% opacity because what I'm actually gonna do next is kind of crucial to actually I guess lower the actual uh, uh, the vibrance of this green and we're gonna be using brightness and contrast right so as you guys always know I like to keep things nice and dark and nice and dope and we're gonna go ahead and go to our brightness here and go to negative 85 for the brightness and then for the contrast is positive 50 and there you go as you guys can see uh, by the way this exposure can go down to like 50% but yeah on this brightness and contrast as you guys can see I might even lower this down to like 60% or so right or i can go a little higher if i need to but this is pretty much dope perfect it also lowers down the actual green that we're using and after this we're going to go to a uh, gradient map right so as always as, oh, let's just show you guys really quickly you can see the background itself is not like it has like just gray it's just gray it does not look good but what we're going to do with this uh gradient map is kind of give it a nice little uh kind of like a sky color almost like a nice little you can see that there's color back there so i'm gonna be using blue for that right so the actual one that i use is uh baby blue almost like a babyish blue whatever or just uh, kind of like a blue the hex code was one b eight e a seven for the blue and on this right hand side it can either be black or it can be like a very very dark uh color so around here is where you want to put your uh, little color picker if you're going to do a color on the right hand side right and they can flip through all these if you guys wish to it just depends what kind of colors you're using if you're using like red uh you definitely want to have you definitely do not want to have like maybe a green here maybe you want to have like a purple uh the one kind of like i have or maybe like a darker red that can be a thing um you just have to experiment with it just a little bit it's not too hard whatsoever but the actual uh right hand one that i'm using for the dark purple the hex code is actually 110f19 i'm gonna press ok i'm gonna press ok again and i'm gonna change my blend mode from normal to to vivid light and we're gonna lower our pass it down to about 40 percent right so as you can see it gives it more color in the background which looks 10 times better in my opinion and pretty much we're ready to go so all right we're actually gonna really quickly actually just duplicate this smoke again really quick just in case and uh, we're gonna take our smoke stock here throw it below scumpy again and we're gonna go to normal and change it to overlay and we're just gonna go ahead and maybe change our passive about 55 percent and kind of just give a little more smoke going around like up here as well and like over here why not right okay that looks good and then as you can see on this example that i have here um do you have a little cool little outline background thing so i thought it looked pretty dope it was like a kind of like a quick way of like filling space by also meaning of like you know actually looking good as well and so the way i did that was i clicked on the actual thumbnail so the cutout of your player you're going to click control or hold control and click on the thumbnail of that uh layer right there so this is my layer of my uh scumpy cutout hold control click on the thumbnail and as you can see it's going to give you guys these rectangle or not the rectangle marquee tool but it's going to give you a marquee tool selection or a like you know little ants or whatever like that and if you guys go to the rectangle marquee tool selection right here right so press m on your keyboard for the shortcut if you want to and it gives you the uh the app of uh, the option to right click uh, transform selection because you can't press Control T, it won't work. And if you hold Alt and Shift, select a corner, make it a lot bigger, right? Then we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer. Throw it below Scumby, so make a new layer. I'm just gonna fill this in like pure black. Why not, right? Okay, and we're just gonna move it to kind of what we wanted to have. I think I had it somewhere around this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on it. We're gonna go to the inner glow. We're gonna go to this color here and change that to this nice little green that we're using. And we're going to go ahead and go to here, the size, and put it up to about 65 looks pretty good for me. Like, whatever, it depends whatever you kind of want, like, want it to have. But for me, this looks freaking perfectly fine, and I'm down for this. Now, uh, what you can do after this now is you can shift-click on everything below this, Control-J, Control-E to merge everything together. And as you can see, this kind of messes up up here. If, you got, if it does that for you guys, Control-T right select the uh, corner here hold alt and shift and just make it a tiny bit bigger and there you go you'll get rid of all that weird like lining that happens and what you want to do is you want to go to filter noise add noise and you want to change your percent to about five which is pretty good press ok and then just lower your passage down to about let's see 45 is pretty good yep i think 45 looks pretty damn good 
that's awesome perfect and what I can do now if I wish to I can lower everything like down to where it comes like to the the smoke I can lower that down a bit if I need to it's about like three or five it depends we just want to have a nice little smooth background that's going on here it looks really good so far and I'm definitely down for it so above the scumpy uh, cutout we're gonna make a new layer we're gonna go to our brush here we're gonna go to this green here that we're gonna stay on the same exact green and we're gonna click on top of scumpy here a couple times like one or two times right on top of him and what you can do is we can take your race a little bit actually before that let's change our blend mode from normal to linear dodge add we'll lower our passive down as well to like 40 percent and then we'll take our eraser and kind of fix we just want to light we just want to look like the light on top of him okay perfect i'm super down for that and actually what we can do as well is maybe put a simple focus light on top as well why not so we're just gonna change our form color to white and we're gonna go ahead Put it on top, just like so. Nice little focus light. Lower the opacity down. So maybe like even it can go like to ten or so. I just want a little bit of light on the top. Why not? And then what we can do after that is we can actually go ahead and put a simple little brightness and contrast. Just a little bit, little negative positive action. So negative for your brightness, positive for your contrast. And I think that's pretty good. So negative ten, uh, about twenty contrast is what I have going on here. And if it's not, if it's a little too much, maybe you can lower your percentage down to about 60 if you guys want to. It just depends. I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, let's make sure we put this below that. There we go. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to throw in our little, our little scumpy optic or Seth text, right? So we have Seth for like the top part. And right below that, we had scump. Right, and I forgot what font I use. Oh, geez, what font did I actually use for this? I think I used the Outbox, something like that, right? Where is that font? The Outbox ST, you guys probably see it. I don't see it. There it is. Perfect. We're going to make this nice and big. And we're going to go ahead and just press the check mark here up top. And we're just going to kind of place this above like this. And I can put Optic Scumpy, I can put Seth Scumpy, whatever the hell I can put, I can put it. I'm just going to keep it Seth. Uh, AKA scumpy kind of thing going on here. And I'm going to change my scump to this nice little green that we're going on with. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click on both the actual text. If you guys want to group it together, you guys can. But I'm going to control click on this so that both of them are selected. I'm going to press control T, right click, skew, select the corner up here, top right, and just move it to the left or the right, excuse me, and kind of give a nice little slant. Then I can repress control T. Then I'll be able to rotate it, kind of rotate it a little bit and throw it right. Kind of like right next to him. And then what I can do for the scump uh, layer style is double click on the scump. And then go to inner shadow or excuse me, inner glow. Go to your sides, throw it up a bit. And then take your blend mode from screen to overlay. And that's kind of pretty much it that I like to do for it. What I can also do is probably like put maybe a gradient overlay on it. Change my style to like radial. Put my size up a bit. And like move it a little bit. You can actually move the actual gradient radial if you just click on or like over here on the text and then move it. And I'm gonna change my blend mode to like overlay. And I can just do that and I'll lower the opacity a bit. That's the scale. That's not the opacity. There we go. Alright, so somewhere like over there, right? And so it's a nice little simple little uh layer style, let a little layer mode that can do uh, you can do. And uh what you can do now, uh let's just say I kind of don't want this super super bright. I think that's pretty good. Actually, I put, I put a drop shadow in as well. Throw up my size a bit, lower my, uh, or throw down my size, throw my distance up, and then like lower my opacity down. I'm down for that. I can do something like that. And then what you can do now, this is kind of like me designing it with like my stocks now. I'll use my brush stock really quickly. So I'm gonna throw a brush stock below my uh, text here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, uh, oh, oh, I didn't even release this yet. You're gonna be seeing it soon for all the brush pack users. Um, These are some of the new stocks that are coming out. It's pretty much like, uh, I guess like tech stocks I can put that on that overlay and I can throw on a nice little blur on maybe right Gaussian blur and then I'm also gonna do this so I'm gonna throw this down pretty heavily but I definitely wanted to use this stock at least which one is it this one right here because it has these cool little hexes going around so if you guys actually want to brush uh brush my brush stock purchase my brush stock you guys actually could I'll put it in the description down below it's for five bucks and you get updates for free uh, every so often and there we go. I like that. There we go. Definitely down for that All right, this is looking pretty dope Um, what I actually might do as well because this is actually like freaking me out that has like two trippy little things here Maybe I can like take my 
eraser and there we go just erase that up there because that was just like really tripping me out um also not feeling the super heavy brightness on that skump i'm not even feeling that drop shadow either i'm definitely just feeling the inner shadow so that's definitely that and also what i did was on this over here as you guys can see it's a little more darker on the edges and the reason for that is um let's just show you guys really quickly the reason for that is basically i took everything grouped it all together even the, including the background Control j Control e i went to the blend mode and changed it to multiply take my opacity and throw it down to like maybe like what 15 i think 15 even like maybe 20 or so and then what i did was i just clicked on the actual thumbnail took my eraser i just erased around just like so and it kind of made everything a little more darker right so you can see that's what it does there. And also what I can do is play around with even more stocks. Like I have these little cool little stocks that I have uh, that kind of like, you know, kind of like these little sprinkles and stuff. It's nice little green. What did I use exactly? I don't know exactly which one I use, but just like throw a little sprinkly stuff going on here. I can make uh, one also white. Why not? Right? Oop. Let's just use a different one. I'll use the same one. That's weird. That's too weird. That's not gonna work. Maybe this will work. I feel like this is the same exact one. Okay, that's pretty good. Put that on like overlay. And then for the actual links that I did, I did this little cool little thing where I actually did uh, something around, let's just actually put this on like dissolve. See what that looks like. Yep, I'm down for that. So for the links, what I actually did was, so right above everything pretty much, you can uh, make a new layer. Take your rectangle marquee tool, which is M on your keyboard for the shortcut. Make a nice little simple little little rectangle, right? Fill it in with any color for now, it doesn't really matter. And then for all the links that you guys, you know, use, what I did was I did mlg.tv slash, right? And I'm gonna make this a little more smaller. I don't know why I'm using the actual like sizing tool. I'd rather just like lower it with this thing up here. And I'm gonna put slash scum because that's what it is. I'll make this a lot more bigger. To kind of like fit this length of this little uh this rectangle that we just made right so what i'll do is i'll make this even more smaller put this like maybe like three okay and then what we can do is kind of size this back down we're just going to make this the same exact size so control t shrink it down a bit there we go and that's kind of pretty much the same exact size now what you can do is kind of like uh relate to what colors are mlg.tv i'm just gonna say blue in this case so blue would be like what i would go for if it was youtube.com i'll make it red and then for the little thing that we got here the little rectangle we're doing uh just do just kind of like make it the same exact color so there we go right and it'll look pretty freaking cool so what you can do next is just do another one so make another little thing just uh use the alt shift move to actually duplicate it and move it over uh, that you can do and then we'll take MLG do that over as well with alt shift uh, or yep just like so I'm gonna youtube.com slash right and they'll make this red okay and then of course you're gonna make this red as well this is not really red we're just gonna go roll with it though and then for the actual uh, link to it we're gonna duplicate that skump one move it over and we're just gonna make it what is it? it's like scumper jumper or something like that i probably didn't spell it right because i'm not looking at it but it's like something like that why does it look so much bigger than it okay whatever that's fine and pretty much i'm gonna group this all together so it's all grouped together i can shrink it this is probably not the exact i don't know why i don't remember it i'm not looking at the actual link to it but if you do something like this that looks pretty freaking dope really really clean and to be honest it looks like it looks just super fresh i would definitely do it and last but not least what i can do is i can throw on another picture let's see do i have another picture where is that other picture of skump that i had somewhere in here um it's right here okay right there throw that in and what we can do is just throw that below the skump picture right there we're going to take this to uh take our blend mode from normal to luminosity throw this opacity down to like maybe what like mm, 20 or so actually even lower like 15 even lower bro oh perfect that like that six is looking real nice and what we can do is we'll rash as a layer so we can race it and what we'll do is we'll just race around a little bit kind of like have it fade in somewhere like maybe like over here right like just perfect dude like this is beautiful so as you guys can see this is pretty much the actual end result of what we're going for uh realistically that multiply by the way is like really clutch this is like that multiplied uh multi 
to whatever. That's the multiply layer that we did to like actually make the uh, edges darker. And uh, yeah, so pretty much this is basically it. After this is really all up to you. What you kind of want to do, what you kind of want to have fun with. Definitely would go with these links. These links look really freaking cool. It's going to be like completely outdone now after this video. However, it will still look cool. And like I said, these fonts that I'm using, uh, this one was the Outbox ST. I believe this was just next to Bold. I can even use like Kenyan Coffee if I wanted to for something like this. Uh, for this up here, why not, right? And it, it would all just depend on what you guys want to have, what you guys want to do. And realistically, once you're done, you have something really beautiful, really clutch, and really, you know, uh, HD as well. So if you guys did not know, if you guys wanted to tweet it out um, and have, like, save the exact quality, what you want to do, and if this is, like, really old, but if you guys don't know it already, uh, shift click on everything, control J, control E, merge it all together so it's one single layer, right? So it's one single layer, and what you want to do, is we're just gonna quickly get rid of this because there's just pretend this is not here right so it's just this layer here with the actual background so what you want to do is when you want to save it and post it onto twitter because like you know you want to say yo look what i just did lower your opacity down to 99 percent uh the reason being is because twitter is like really awkward and weird and it cuts down the quality if it's at 100 percent however if it's for some reason if you're at 99 percent when you actually save the image and the way i'm going to save it is going to go to file save for web or if you're in uh photoshop cs6 uh, or whatever it is not cs6 or cc whatever it's like edit and then like something you guys know where it is so save for web and we're going to png 24 right drop down png 24 and you want to press save and i want to save it and you upload it you'll see the difference if you guys do not believe me upload to them yourself really quickly and be like yo one's 99 percent opacity one's 100 percent opacity trust me i swear to god it like it just works okay so overall i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, pretty much if you guys did please leave a like if you guys did i know you guys did so just let me know uh comment down anything you guys want to see me do of course if you guys haven't subscribed to me already if you for some reason if you're not subscribed to me you're actually really weird you guys really honestly should subscribe to me i'm like one of the greatest of all time i'm kidding joking i know you guys some of you guys will take that seriously I know I'm not that good, but I'm actually really cool at, you know, creating some really fun little stuff for you guys to work on and make it your own. So, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm going to say it again, because you really should subscribe. And uh, follow me on Twitter, at SysWHQ. And uh, leave a like and all that cool stuff. Why am I repeating myself, bro? Uh, just I'm just going to end the video, because I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm super tired. Your boy, is just he just needs to go to sleep. We're just going to go to sleep. Yep. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Bye. <laughs> SysWHQ out. Peace.